This is a totally different voice. Wow. Guys, would you ever guess that this was Rob? If you just hear, listen to it. If I would not have seen the video or not see the video, I would have never thought it would be Rob. That is crazy. <laughs> Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to Webby Plays Music. Today I'm going to react to a suggestion from Melissa Higgins, who's a suggestion one member on my Patreon. Her suggestion for this one, and she has done a couple of home free suggestions. This is not home free, but it's some of the members. Her suggestion is to watch two country singers try singing opera, Nesum Dorma. And this is Austin Brown from Home Free featuring Rob Lundquist from Home Free as well. So I think those two have the highest ranges in Home Free. Austin the highest, I think, and then Rob. But apparently they can sing opera too. First this is going to go on Patreon, of course, and then a couple of weeks after on YouTube as well. Let's see what this is all about. I've been more than surprised with Austin in the past and Rob as well, but less frequent, I'd say. I'm uh, ready to be surprised. Here we go. <laughs> Typical Austin with a cowboy hat. I heard, I think, from Tim Faust in an interview that Austin has, has like the worst accent of all of them. He's from, is he from Texas or somewhere in the neighborhood of that? I don't know. <laughs> Taking their hats off in the church. Interesting. So they start at the same pitch. Uh, and I think Rob has more volume in this part. And I don't know their background when it comes to opera. Have they both had training in opera? Or is part of it self-taught? I actually don't know about that. So let me know in the comment section below. Principessa. It's Italian, of course. Man, Rob sounds so different than what I'm used to with vo uh, Home Free. I was about to say voice play, whatever. Home Free. Because in Home Free, a lot, most of the times, he actually has a sharper tone to it. But of course, in opera, there's a lot fuller sound because you have to make a lot of volume. And that's what we hear right now. He has a much fuller sound and not the high, sharp tone that we sometimes have in Home Free with Rob. Super cool. Look at this technique. This is a totally different voice. Would you ever guess that this was Rob? If you just hear, listen to it. If I would not have seen the video or not see the video, I would have never thought it would be Rob. That is crazy. That is so different. Okay, so expectedly, uh, Austin has a bit of a higher range here, goes a bit higher than Rob does. Right now, it feels like Rob has more of that opera sound to him than Austin does, but that's just because I'm hearing them right after one another. It is crazy though, singing in Italian almost kind of helps making it sound like opera, I don't know, but it complements the technique, I think. It would not have sounded as operatic, I think, if it would have been in English. Even though the technique is the same, but if you want to have some technique review about the opera stuff here, I'm, I'm not sure if Peter Barber has done 
uh, a review on this video, but I'm sure he can say tons of stuff about their technique because he's a professional opera singer, but I'm impressed. So, interestingly, what Austin did, so he bends up to the notes, and he has a softer section there where it's more breathy, whilst in the operatic parts, there's no breathy stuff at all, because the breathier it is, the less volume you, you tend to have, so, and that's what we notice right here, too, here, so he changes from this soft, breathy part into, to this full sound. This is great. Look how wide Rob is opening his mouth. It's so different when you see him sing pop and a cappella with Home Free. How his posture and the shape of his mouth is when he sings. Also, like, you cannot really see what ha what is happening exactly inside the mouth. But there's also some technical stuff going on over there. Making that big sound compared to, like, the just pop singing kind of voice. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm not sure, but it seemed to me that Rob's mouth was open wider than Austin's was. And I think that's why the sound of Rob sounded more operatic than Austin's voice did. Even though, like, Austin has the higher range, higher upper range compared to Rob. Man, he surprised me. And I'm, I'm glad that, that I got to watch this. There were some nice sections with Home Free that I've seen from Rob. But nowhere near this surprising. So it's cool to see a totally different side of Rob as well. Thank you so much, Melissa, for suggesting this. I was really impressed with Rob. I can't wait to post this too. Guys, Home Fries probably are watching as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other reactions to Home Free. Uh, other musicians, singers, bands and such. I also have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. Today we're going to react to something that I haven't seen, featuring Rob Lundquist. Lund we're going to see, uh, I, in the, in the, but of course, uh, it's it's more <sighs> as operatic as if it would have been, but it's like he's he's, it's uh, it's quite quite noticeable that um, I'm right, then then. Uh, I'm, uh, 